Okay, hi everybody. Um, here I am. <laughs> I've never done this before. This is not a YouTube cooking channel or anything like that. I just put out a little bit of a mug cake, but not really a mug cake. I cooked it in a ramekin and I put cherries in it and oh my gosh, I got a lot of messages asking me what the recipe was. I'm not a cook or anything like that. I'm just someone who has been, uh, you know, dealing with some health issues so I'm trying to eat healthy and I kind of sort of like the keto uh, friendly diet although I don't follow it to a T um, and the one thing I do miss is cake and bread and things like that otherwise it's a pretty good diet it's healthy so I'm gonna go through these ingredients anyway I kind of call it my kind of keto uh, chocolate mug cake I know that we're allowed to have berries on the keto diet, uh, but so far I've seen strawberries and blackberries and blueberries, and these are the sweet dark cherries. So I'm not positive about that, so I'm only putting in a few, so I'm not thinking that there's a problem with it. So I kept it to a few. It looks like a lot here, but these are only six of the cherries cut in half. Uh, they were left to thaw out a little bit and you can stick them in your microwave if you want to they get kind of juicy and I would add that into the cake too because it makes the flavor so much nicer but let's go over these ingredients really really quick I have one egg one tablespoon of cocoa excuse my little tray there I kind of spilt the cocoa I have uh, my uh, artificial sweetener of choice which I choose xylitol for those of you with pets xylitol can be like a poison to your pets so if you have pets you have to not give them any of this stuff or any food with xylitol in it and you must be careful with any xylitol uh, food products okay even chewing gum I have here one half teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, one pinch of salt, one quarter cup of almond flour, and of course my cherries. Now here we are, there's the, some people can use the Hershey's unsweetened cocoa, there's the baking powder, there is the cocoa I actually use. It's a healthy cocoa, it's organic. There's my cherries. I use this almond flour. You can buy it anywhere. I buy mine from Amazon. There is the xylitol and there's my vanilla. And of course, there's my Himalayan sea salt. Okay, um, it's not required to use the sea salt or any kind of salt, but I do, you know, they do say things are sweeter when you add a pinch of salt. And I also heard that it helps the baking powder. So I'm going to remove this stuff and then that way we can have some room on this counter to get ourselves started. Don't want the cherries to thaw out and stain the counter. Okay, so um, sorry about that bottom of the thing. Uh, there's the xylitol uh, that I purchased. It's from birch trees. So it's kind of a natural thing, kind of, sort of. So let's get this stuff out of the way, okay? So I can uh, put you guys on the counter here with me. And you can watch this stuff be done. Yeah, I'm no cook. And I'm not a YouTuber. So... Let's see what happens. And I'll probably make mistakes because I'm not used to doing this and I'm very distracted and Alex is barking out the window because he barks at the leaves going by. All right, so I'm gonna sit you up on here and hopefully we can do this together, okay? Let's hope for the best. Okay then, so now we're gonna crack an egg and I'm no chef. Okay, so. Bear with me. If we get some shells on here, so I guess our cake will be a little bit crunchy. I have here also a ramekin that I lightly greased with a little bit of coconut 
oil, okay? Lightly greased, it's not dirty. I'll move this over. And I will crack my egg. And you have to make sure your egg is perfectly blended so the white, the white and the yellow is completely blended. You don't want egg swirls in your cake, especially, you know, in such a small cake because it will be eggy. You want to blend this really, really well, okay? Now, with the almond flour, I use almond flour because coconut flour has, you know, a bit of a distinct flavor. So, the almond flour is not uh, that flavored, you know, it just, it's, it's kind of plain. I don't detect a flavor at all in it. Uh, with the almond flour, the situation being that if I don't add my cherries, the cake seems to be like one of those health food store cakes that is a little bit on the grainy side and uh, like whole grain stuff so I put a little bit of the cherries because then when they kind of thaw out in the cookie it sort of makes this almond flour less grainy so next we're going to add this almond flour sorry my hands are in the way so okay so now I don't know where to put my stuff. Not a lot of real estate here. We're going to, you know, blend this just a little so it doesn't, when I try to mix it around, it doesn't fly up in the air. Okay. So now I'm going to um, put in my pinch of salt. Now every time I grab this stuff, it kind of spills. So pinch of salt. My quarter teaspoon of vanilla. If I spill it, I'm going to put more. I actually put a tiny bit more of that vanilla. Um, this is a recipe I concocted out of a main recipe that I saw. They don't include vanilla. I do. They don't include the salt. I do. I like mine better, but you know, you can fix it the way you want to. Uh, the baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm hoping not to spill it and make a mess. Okay, now the xylitol, I'm gonna put in here. Uh, the, with xylitol, you would put the amount of xylitol to compare to a mug of coffee. Whatever you would put in a mug of coffee, you would put in your mug cake, because it's about the same measurements. But if you are going to do a erythritol, uh, you would put a little more erythritol. It's not that sweet. So you have to add a little more of that. Or you can do your sweetener of choice. And I really don't know the ratios to that. I know there's a, you know, raw egg in here. But you know what? I kind of sort of always stick a utensil in, in here. And I kind of taste it because that's just me. If you're afraid of raw eggs, then don't do it. But I do it. All right, so the messy part here is the cocoa. So I'm gonna mix, mix this around a little bit. You can use a fork. Probably a fork is better. But I'm gonna mix this up and break it down a little bit because I'm too lazy to sift the flour and sift all the stuff. And so I'm going to spend a little more time mixing it okay so now I don't know if you could see it it's getting the consistency of a cake batter or like a pancake batter I don't know if you can see that I'm not sure if I'm I don't even know where the camera is camera hole I'm gonna spill this all over the counter oh well if it happens I just do another video and or you can watch me make a mess and start over again. <laughs> That's okay. Anyhow, here we are into the cocoa. I'm gonna sprinkle it. Hopefully I won't make a mess. So, um, I forgot to say that this only takes a minute and a half in the microwave. 90 seconds. It takes a lot longer for me to play with this bowl than it does for this cake to be baked in the microwave. 
Should, should it be said that it's baked in the microwave or well, it's microwaved in the microwave and it comes out cakey. So I don't know if it's baked in the microwave or microwaved into a cake. Somebody tell me, cause I don't know if it's valid or accurate to say that you're gonna bake a cake in the microwave. All right, so the chocolate is in here, it's wet. So I'm gonna take a spatula and really mix it better cause this little thingy is kind of weird. So I'm gonna really get in here and get into the edges. Get your edges incorporated. Get in here and really mix it around because this this almond flour is uh, kind of grainy. So you want to make sure that everything is kind of soaked in there. Okay. Now the cherries are going to go in there. However, I when I mix them and fold them in here. They end up in the bottom of the ramekin. So today I'm going to try something different. I don't know if it'll work or if it won't. But nevertheless, they'll be in there. They'll be fine. I'm going to get my little ramekin. And if I don't have any accidents, this will all go in the ramekin. I want to go in the center. I don't want to get the edges of this ramekin all uh, full of this batter. Because then when it cooks, it's going to be sticky all right so I'm trying this in a different way get everything in there because you want every bit of that cake trust me this is good okay in another trick I learned that if you're not so anxious like me and immature like me uh, you would tend to want to put this cake in a little Ziploc bag when it's done because uh, overnight somehow something happens and in the morning it's not so grainy tasting. It's like the, the almond flour just really softens up and it really tastes like cake. Now if you want to eat it really fast like I do straight out of the oven or the microwave, uh, then it's going to be a little more on the grainy side. So let's, uh, let's do this. My hands are clean. It's like I washed them three times, but whatever. I'm the only one that's going to eat this. I'm going to drop these randomly in here. Uh, cause I don't, they're, it looks like they're going to drop to the bottom, but I kind of want them going in a special pattern. So I make sure that every bite I get a cherry. I get a cherry every single bite. Anyway, okay. So, I'm going to make sure that I make these thing to where there's a cherry on every bite. Okay. Because if not, then I'm going to take a, another bite. Okay, so if you thaw these cherries out, throw in the juice. Um... If I thaw them out, I actually thaw in the juice. I mean, I throw in the juice or pour in the juice and I mix it around in the batter. Oh my God, it tastes so good. But I forgot to do that. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top. All right. Let's put this little guy in the microwave. And I made a mess on this bowl. Okay, you ready to go? Come with me. Don't mind my kitchen, okay? It's, uh, or Jeff's kitchen. It's messy because it's just messy. Everybody's home today. Everybody's hungry today. Everybody's in and out of the kitchen eating stuff. So, okay, let's get in the microwave before these guys sing to the bottom. I don't want them at the bottom. I don't want some at the bottom, but I don't want them all at the bottom. Let's see what happens. All right, center of the microwave. That's close enough. And okay, 
90 seconds. Okay. And here we go. <laughs> so we're just gonna stand here like children and put our faces right into the window and watch our cake cooking. Watch our cake be done. TV today. <laughs> Look, it's growing. It's growing right before our eyes. Look at that. Kind of cute. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me it's going to pour over the edge. Oh boy. It's got 30 pipes. Oh no. Oh my god. It's going to make a mess. Let's see how bad it gets. Oh, God. 19 seconds. I'm not going to film it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cake! Okay. <laughs> Who wants to make a bet? See if it spilled or not. Mm. Ready? Ah, <gasps> it didn't spill. I think it didn't spill. And it went down. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> okay, I can't pick that up. Um, let's see. Don't touch my cake. Okay, let me switch hands. I'm a right-handed person. And I'm holding the tablet. It's not a phone, it's a tablet. All right, let's see. Let's not drop this. Let's not get the towel on the cake. All right. There you have it. There you have it. It's gorgeous. It's kind of weird looking on top. Mm. It's kind of odd. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, maybe I shouldn't have put them cherries so close to the top. It makes it look like craters. Unless I'm just looking too closely. Let's get a knife. Um, I'm so I'm going to go around the edges. Some people turn this over right away. Some people wait for it to cool. I don't know what to think. So we'll see. For good or for bad, we're gonna do this together, okay? So let's see. I know it's a little dark, it's getting late. It's gonna rain, you hear the thunder? All right, so we got a little dish here. And I'm gonna put this here. I don't know if you can see. Um, I don't know. Yep, it, I think it came apart. Maybe it's too early, but let's see what happens. Let's pick this up. Oh, well. Let's see. Let's take a tour of this cake. Let's see it is. All right. Yep, it fell apart a little bit. Okay, let's see something. Who cares? I'm still going to like it. Let's turn the light on. All right, that's better. All right, so. Oh, it's because of a cherry. A cherry fell off its bottom. So we'll put it back up. All right, so uh, I'd like to turn this over. I don't want to dirty another dish. My hands are still clean, so I'm gonna be brave. Turn it around. There we are. It's a cake, kinda. 
I think I turned it over too fast. But here you are. Here we are, here's our cake. Mm, I've seen prettier. But, I think I just took it out of that ramekin too fast. Here we are. Here's our cake. Or maybe the cherries were too close to the top. I should have folded them in. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. But anyway. There's something that I like to do to these cakes. It figures. I always make this. It always comes out really nice looking. So now that I'm filming it, it's going to come out like a nuddly duckling. But I like to grab my xylitol and sprinkle it on the top. Another thing is uh, I didn't grind up my flour, so you can see some of the almond flour kind of grainy at the top. That's funny. Um, so here we are. You'll go ahead and fold those cherries in if you're going to make it because I have a feeling I grouped them too much. I should have folded them, mixed them around so they would be more assorted, assorted or um, located throughout the batter. And I kind of bunched them up while up on the top so it probably didn't bake correctly or cook correctly or microwave correctly. Let's break into this thing. Let's see what we got in here. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, I made a mess. Ah, okay. I made a mess. This is not a good night. Um, okay. Yeah, I made a mess. It's too hot to cut it. But, alright, whatever. Here it is. Here's our cake. Yummy, yummy. Alright, let me see. So, it's messy, and I'm not gonna make another video. Because then it might end up worse. I'm gonna taste this guy, or girl, or cake. Oh no, it's not bad. Okay, let me show you. It's really hot, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you. Look at how cute. Look at how nice. I mean, it's really cakey. See it? See? It's very cakey. Just like they do on YouTube. See it? It's very moist. It's very cakey. You see all the cherries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you have the almond flour. So you have bits of almond flour. Sorry about the chocolate uh, fingers here. See? Look, I mean, that's cakey. It's spongy. And like I said, if you put it in a, a little baggie overnight, this really gets moist. Look, this is really cakey, people. Look at that cherry. A cherry in every bite. Look at that. It looks so good. I'm going to taste it. The truth. I tasted it. Let me tell you. That's a thumbs up. I know it looks funny. But I took it out too early. Too anxious to show it off. But I'm serious. This is so delicious. You gotta try it. Now. Uh, I'm a kind of a hog. And I want, I'll probably eat the whole thing. With a cup of coffee or tea. But what I want to do. And maybe somebody can help me out with this. Can somebody see if they can take this recipe and pour it into maybe three quarters or even a half of these little silicone cupcake things and put the batter in there and microwave them. And can you tell me if they turn out okay? Because this way I don't eat the whole thing. And if they come out good, then I can just put two of them away and just eat one. Somebody tell me. I know who you are. 
Every time I ask you something at work, you always find the answer for me. So, <laughs> uh, or somebody else, it doesn't matter who. Can somebody try this recipe and make them in a little cupcake thing? And that way I don't eat the whole thing. Because you know what? About 90 seconds after this video is done, the cake is finished. Trust me. And you know what's the best thing? It's a very healthy cake. The, uh, the Himalayan sea salt gives you great minerals for your system. It's really good for you. The almond flour is uh, not as bad as white flour. It is not bad for you. Even if you uh, are not watching your diet, you should really not eat white bleached flour. This is much better tastes just as good really honestly this little cake is good now those uh cherries those dark cherries good in antioxidants that uh cocoa that i use that is um you know natural cocoa powder cacao powder is uh, it has a lot of antioxidants as well and i don't use sugar so there you are if you're watching your sugar if you're going to use an egg, um, you know, a lot of eggs, they have, you know, the chickens have antibiotics and, and all kinds of things. Eggs are not as healthy as people perceive them to be because there's, uh, the chickens are not eating the good things. So get pasture raised chicken eggs or, you know, antibiotic free or free range eggs is much more healthy for you. So uh, I think that's about it that's in this cake. It's pretty healthy. Uh, go ahead and indulge yourself in some chocolate cake. And tell them I told you about this recipe. All right, everybody. Uh, let me finish off this cake, okay? Bye.